hey, so as you guys hopefully remembered from your test yesterday, that we get energy from our food, otherwise known as our resources. But does anyone know exactly how that food that we get into our bodies gets turned into energy for us and what that does? Odds are the students would say no. And I'd say, luckily, I prepared an activity for us to walk through exactly how we get that food in our body and what's broken down into so that we can understand it. Started off, I want you guys to take out a piece of paper and then something to write with, whether it's a pen or a pencil. As they're getting all this stuff set up, I would turn on the board and they'd say, sweet, I want you guys to put a Venn diagram on your piece of paper. What you're gonna be putting in it is one side being the black beans, one side being the pineapple, and then in the middle exactly what both of them have for their nutrition facts. Take the next two minutes to go through this and then we'll come together as a whole. So they spend two minutes going through it, and then I'd say, sweet. So walking through this, I've got my own Venn diagram up here. Let's start with exactly what both of them have. And they start shouting out exactly what some of both of them have. If they aren't shouting it out, I might just either call them or I might have some sticks prepared with their names on it. Um, but if they're saying things I'd say was, it, uh, was in it, and they might say things like calories, proteins, carbs, sodium, iron, calcium. Uh, I essentially want to wait until they're saying in the order that I have up here, where I have it as carbs, and then protein, I'd go back to whoever said that. If someone said sodium, I'd shout them out. If someone said minerals, or if someone said calcium, and someone said iron separately, I'd say, sweet, that's what both of them are, but they're classified as mineral, technically, so they're both right, but this is like another fancy word for it. And I'd say, they also have calories, if people are talking about the calorie count on both of them, and say, what exactly are calories? And I'm sure a lot of them would say a number, <laughs> probably is their like BS answer. Um, but besides that, I would sort of say, calories are gonna be exactly what our energy units are. Um, so now we've done both, what's gonna be in the pineapples that wasn't in the black beans, and they might say separately vitamin A and vitamin C. I just have both of them listed down as vitamins on here. I say, perfect. What did black beans have that pineapples didn't? And they say, nothing. Or if they also didn't check to see what, yeah, they'd probably say nothing. Um, and I'd say, okay, going back to that, both of them had all of these. Were they both the exact same? A lot of them would probably say no. And then after that, I'd say, Okay, so like what's what's different about like the sodium for the pineapples and the black beans? If they're not really saying anything, I'd say, if you were talking about pineapple, what would you taste for it? They might say sweet, they might say tang, they might say sour, and I'd say, exactly. If you were just talking about black bean, what would it taste like? They might say bland, they might just say salty and say salty. So even though both of them have the same exact macromolecules in it, they aren't going to be at that same exact level, or they might be close in some of them, but all of them aren't going to be the same. But what were both of these foods missing? If they said, we don't know, we didn't check it, I'd say, do you guys want to go back? And they'd say, probably sure. I go back to this, give them 15 to 20 seconds. I say, sweet, now we've got that down. What were some things that both of these foods were missing? The main two that hopefully they should check in on is fats and cholesterols. Uh, and then I'd also ask them, what exactly do these and these do in our body? What are they good for in our body? Most of them would probably either make a guess or say, I don't know. I'm cool with either answer. As long as they're talking to me, I'm a happy boy. And I'd say, luckily enough for you, we've got an activity prepared for today um, to help you out with exactly what they are and how they are going to help out in your body. So now out of teacher mode, I was kind of going in and out of there for a bit. So not exactly first person. But they would go into their Google Classroom, find the activity, chemistry of what we eat. They would open it up, make a copy of it. I'm just going to present it because that's a lot easier to do. So they have this. And just simple questions going through um, the reading that is attached on the previous slide. So that way they can work on it in class. If they have any misconceptions, I can go around and help them out with it. But it's just questions like, what are those four biomolecules found in living things? So such as carbs, proteins, fats, like the ones that are on there, 
or carb proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Um, then we go into carbohydrates and what they do for the body and what some of the different carbohydrates are, like saccharide, disaccharide, polysaccharide, I mean, I guess monosaccharide. And then eventually one for lipids and what they do and where they're comprised of, what are proteins and where they sort of comprised of, what are nucleic acids, what are they built out of. And then at the last one, they're going to be having, there's going to be a lot more images on the bottom of different monomers and polymers of all the four biomolecules. And I want them to first just sort of take a stab at which each one is, because there are pictures in their books that show off the different monomers and polymers. And then if it runs into the next day, it'll run into the next day. But if it's still on time on the first day, then we go through this, go through the answers that they have, and go through like the monomer and the polymer. I ask them what exactly is a monomer, what is a polymer, and they might take some guesses at it. Essentially, all they have to know is that it's monomer is gonna be one unit of that biomolecule. Polymer is multiple units of that biomolecule. And that's it for that activity. Then after that, we go into a, I can just turn on this monitor. We go into a case discussion, case study, about Red Bull versus an actual healthy diet. Would I probably start off with how many of you drink energy drinks like Red Bull, Monster, what was that other one? Um, Bang. And I'm sure a lot of them might say that they have at least once. And then I'd say, why do you guys think that's not that healthy for you? And, or no, I'd say, do you guys think that's gonna be a healthy choice for you? Some of them might say yes, some of them might jokingly say yes, some of them might actually say yes. But we sort of go through this case study of Red Bull versus an actual diet and which one's better, which one's gonna be a lot healthier in the long run. And of course, we're gonna find out an actual diet's healthier in the long run because you're not getting all of these sugars and everything else that will give you a potential rush of energy, but then at some point later on down the line, like give it an hour or two, you crash. Um, so we go through a case study, I ask some questions along the way, and then we meet back up, just have a discussion about it. And on the third day, they'll be working through a identifying biomolecules lab where um, there's different reagents, so things that will react with um, proteins, lipids, carbs, and they test it with different food items, and I'd have questions in there sort of saying, why would this reagent work with this instead of these items? So they can actually recognize like, oh, like a monomer is different from a polymer. So that would mean like a monosaccharide is different from like a polysaccharide, or um, glycerol is different from fatty acid. Just noticing that there's not gonna be the same things for one unit, two units, multiple units, and have them identify that like, that even though they're all gonna be the same thing in that biomolecule, they're not that same exact unit or same exact composition of units. 